How you doing, Abraham? What um, do you think? I'm doing good, doing good. Uh, so uh, basically what I'm trying to do is I, I think I want to use this seminar as uh, I need to get to the next level, or I want to get to the next level. And um, What do you mean by that? The next level meaning I, I'm... Uh, you know what we mean by it? I know what you mean by it. I want to be able to do it on my own. I want to be able to uh, get some assistance from you so that I can have a better uh, idea of my, um, my guidance system on my emotions so that I can get through the, the little breakup times or the, you know, the struggle times, whatever you want to call them, so that um, I can get to that But here's level. the thing that we want to talk about. Why should we practice a troubling thing in case one comes up later? In other words, do you want to answer it now or wait? Well, there's no good answer. We were just yeah. poking at you with it. Yeah. When you say, I want to get to the next level, and yeah. what you mean is, I want to understand this, I want to be able to guide myself, I yeah. want to feel more confident in the choices that I'm making. And what we want to say to you is, why would you want to say, I need to prepare myself to make the right choice forevermore, when you have the ability to keep turning around and turning around and turning around and turning around. In other words, what we want to soften within you is, what difference does it make if you from time to time head in the wrong direction when you have this guidance within you that eventually gets you turned around again and so we want to soften within you this feeling that you need to prepare yourself in order to create the perfect life we just want you to get out there and through trial and error uh -huh. and when you said I want to get to the next level yeah. we wanted to tie that in with this emotional range that yeah. reaching for the next level is really reaching for the relief of an improved emotion yeah. that's really what it is and when that's what you're reaching for, then it's got to get better and better. So, uh, ba basically, I think I wasn't too clear about what I was asking before, and that's why. Yeah. Well, we don't want to hurt your feelings, but we hardly pay any attention to anything anyone says anyway. I got it. I got it. No, man, I just, I just like to hear myself talk on the CDs. Um, you are becoming very famous. Yeah. Infamous. So here's the situation. This is what I meant by, so to speak, the next level. I mean, um, I have relationships with people, good relationships, good friends, good hearts, um, caring, loving, all that good stuff, okay? But that's the level they're on, their friendships. And uh, of course, I, I would like to have a, a life partner at one point, okay? So that's what I mean by the next level. I would like to move on to the next level in that part. Um, and you know that what that means is you have to, if not, offer a vibration that is like that. Uh -huh. You have to at least stop offering the vibration that is the absence of that. Exactly. Which means you either have to get off the subject so you stop beating a drum that is in opposition to what you want, mm -hmm. or you have to get really on the subject of your desire. True. So which gives you greater relief? In other words, could you forget about it altogether? Do you think that's likely? Do you think no. that you can just keep distracting yourself by looking at other subjects? Impossible. So it seems that the next level then uh -huh. is about finding some relief from the vibration that you've been practicing. Mm -hmm. So how would you describe the vibration that you've been practicing? When you think about relationship, uh -huh. does it feel like someone's there or someone's missing? More to, more to missing it. Does it feel a long way off or right around the corner? Feels like the start of something great, but way down the road. That, see, that's my problem because I get in my head and I think about, oh, well, uh, if I, I met this girl, I've known her for two weeks, and all of a sudden I'm thinking about two years from now. That's crazy. That's overwhelming. And I don't want to do that because then I'm going to ruin... What I'm trying to do here is have, enjoy myself with her at this time for what it is right now, which is just getting to know each other. Well, you know, you've heard us talking about the next logical step, the next logical step, the next logical step. And it's not an easy thing when you've been missing something for a while. Mm -hmm. And then you find something that, in, as you say, might be the start of what you've been missing. Mm -hmm. It puts a lot of pressure on you and the other because now you're saying, you know, who I think you are has been absent from my life for a really long time. Yeah. And now I think you're the one. Yeah. You are, are under great pressure to be the one. Yeah. And 
no one really can take that kind of pressure. I wouldn't want to give it. It's not good for you either. Yeah. Your words were very good, and they felt good to you as you were speaking them. What about just letting it be what it be, and yeah. enjoy what it is, and trust that the universe is bringing to you what you are really wanting. Uh -huh. yeah. In other words, what about saying, I don't know what this is, but it sure feels good like this. Yeah. Let's see what happens. How do those words feel to you? Does it feel like someone's missing or like someone's there? Someone's there. Does it feel like this is the perfect person that you've been looking for? Or does it feel like this is someone who is nice to spend time with? Nice to spend time with. Does it feel like this person who's nice to spend time with has to be more? Or does it feel like this person who's nice to spend time with is nice to spend time with? Is nice to spend time with. Well, then everything's all right in your vibration so far. Yeah. And it is only when you look at yourself through those scrutinizing eyes of trying to make something happen for so long that you even begin to feel impatient. Mm -hmm. In other words, we think that your vibration on this subject has shifted somewhat since the first conversation we had with you about Good. it because we think that you are more in this patient and we don't really want you to ever be utterly patient. Yeah. We want you to be eager. But this patient place of being willing to allow things to evolve. Okay. And this is the thing that we so much want you and everyone else to hear about creation. You're not ever going to get it done. So in the same way you say, I'm not finished, so why should I expect a partner to ever be perfect for me yeah. when I continue to evolve. We know that that doesn't make sense when we put it to you that yeah. way, and yet that's what so many of you do. Yeah. Why not say, mm, we are going to evolve uh -huh. together? Yeah, I agree with you fully, and I believe that's the way I look at it. But where I kind of get caught up is uh, through my head and the emotions that I feel. I wonder sometimes why a fear would come in when everything about this person for whatever the relationship is going to turn into who cares that's fine you know who cares <laughs> no, yeah. but what, what I'm saying is um, there's certain things you like to uh, line up with a certain someone with a, with a partner right she man she covers a whole spectrum of them in a matter of two weeks time I mean and what I'm, Do you think he's waiting for the other shoe to drop <laughs> no 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 I'm not what I'm saying is I want to allow myself to enjoy that fully and not have the other emotions of tentativeness of not wanting to be vulnerable scared of maybe giving my all to somebody because not necessarily that I won't get it back but what the hell is giving myself to every giving all to somebody well you see we think that's where your trouble is because mm -hmm. what you're actually trying to do is be everything that you will ever be right now mm -hmm. you're trying to know everything that you will ever know right now so you're <laughs> saying guidance system don't just guide me now which your guidance system is guiding you and it's saying yes 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 and you're concerned that there might be something that you're not seeing or there might be something that later you might want that will be missing and what you're trying to do is get your guidance system to give you more information that is necessary more than the information about where I am in relationship to where I want to be okay. we will not say to you that you are so close to completion <laughs> in your quest for life <laughs> and this person is so close to completion in her quest for life uh -huh. that now these two static finished people can now comfortably <laughs> come together what we will say to you is you are two dynamic beings who will constantly change yeah. and we believe you have the ability to keep making the next decision from where you are and guiding yourself to where you want to be but you know there are some words you've heard us offer them and we really want to put them to you here okay. consider making a decision and then lining up with it so if you say I've decided that this is the one for me right now. I've, okay. decided, I've decided this. And I'm going to monitor the way I feel. And when a feeling of fear comes up, which has nothing to do with who you are, it yeah. has something to do with something else, I'm going to find a way of relieving myself of that fear. Okay. Because the only thing you could say to her, although she may not be ready to hear it, the only thing between me and you is me. Yeah. The only thing that could keep you from being perfect for me yeah. is me. Exactly. So don't do that. Okay. <laughs>
Cool. And don't try to figure it all out now. Okay. And don't be afraid of some negative emotion. And don't expect every moment with anyone to be a perfect moment. Just okay. say, hey, this is way, 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 way good. And getting better and better and better and better. And then just go with that flow. Okay. Cool. Sometimes we think that people sitting in this chair are wanting us to give them an advanced announcement. In other words, where, <laughs> where do you see this one going? Yeah. We wouldn't tell you that if we knew. I know. <laughs> we would not for a moment take the pleasure All of right. the discovery from you. All right. If you were to say, what is the destiny of my experience? We would say, eagerness, fun and joy. If you were to say, will it be that way in every moment? We would say, no. probably not, but dominantly yes. Okay. If you were to say, will I be mostly successful on the things that matter to me? We would say, absolutely. Yeah. If you were to say, is this the one and only? We would say, why don't you make a decision and make it so? Mm -hmm. Okay.